Hello, good evening, Nasasena. How are you? Hello, Miss. Good evening. I I'm fine, fine. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. También. Tired. <laughs> Pero feliz. Tired. Excellent. Feliz muy bien. Very good, Nasasena. I'm tired too. All right. So don't feel bad. No se sienta mal. Todos estamos tired ahora. <laughs> Let me check. Who else do we have in the class? Okay, there you go, there you go. Hi, good evening, Adriana. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, Adri? <coughs> Very good. <coughs> ah, are you sick? Anda enfermita, Adriana. <laughs> sí. All right. Mucho polvo. It's true, mucho polvo, hablar mucho, <laughs> la vida. <laughs> All right, excellent, Adri, don't worry. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's see, Francisco, how are you? Hello, Good Francisco. evening, teacher. Okay, okay then un segundito, I right? I just now complain, I think. And how are you? I'm pretty good, Francisca. Thank you so much for asking, all right? It's a pleasure to see you. Okay, guys, eh, déjenme ver, me van a dar un segundito dentro de poco porque tengo que conectar el cable de internet directo que se me olvidó, all right? Y ya me pareció que la conexión puede ser inestable. Así que para no estarlos molestando, voy a levantarme un ratito, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, excellent. Thank you, guys. Now let's move on. What about Miguel? How are you, Miguel? I'm fine. You're and fine. you? I'm fine, too. Thank you so much for asking. All righty, y'all. Welcome back to your English class. I miss you guys. I miss you, right? <laughs> let's see. Let's get started. I can't ice skate very well, all right? So we have class 13. Finally, we're going to start with section number five. I know that maybe you already work on it, but today we're going to see more content. We are going to explain many vocabulary that we have in the platform. But the best thing of everything is that you are going to be able to practice, right? Practicing is the best thing ever. All right, so let's see. Before moving on, before moving on with something else, I want you to have this as a recalling previous learning, all right? We have this information. Quiero que hagamos estas como sentences, all right? Con adverse of frequency. Los adverse of frequency, si no los practicamos, puede ser bien fácil que los olvidemos o que olvidemos cómo colocarlos, all right? So let's work on this one. Vamos a trabajar con estas sentences, please. It says, rewrite the complete sentences using the adverb in brackets in its correct position, all right? Ya tienen los adverbs aquí, ustedes solo los van a colocar a donde deben de ir, right? If you have questions, let me know. Okay, para los que van entrando a la clase, we are working with adverbs of frequency, right? Tenemos este como recalling previous learning, como este calentamiento, basically, o como para recordar los adverbs of frequency, porque si no los practicamos, es bien fácil que se nos olviden, right? Solo van a completar estas sentences utilizando los adverbs of frequency que ya les dan aquí. And that's it.
Okay, for the ones that are just getting into the class, we are practicing with adverbs of frequency, all right? You have to rewrite these sentences using the adverbs of frequency that you already have in here. Let me know when you're finished, please. All right, have you finished? Yes, no, almost. Almost. All right, excellent.
Okay, let's check these sentences, all right? Don't worry, if you didn't finish, don't worry. We're going to work with them in here. So let's see, we have the first one, which is number one. What do you have for that one? Let me see, Laura. Um, he often listens to the radio. Exactly, he often listens to the radio. There you go. Thank you, Laura. What about number two, uh, Ronnie? They sometimes read a book. That's correct. Excellent, thank you. Um, Jaime Ernesto, what do you have for number three? He never gets angry. That's correct. Check. Thank you. Sandrita, what do you have for number four? I taste sometimes sugar in my coffee. Oh, Sandrita, number four, Tom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tom usually, usually is very friendly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. Thank you, Sandrita. What about... Uh -huh. Excuse me, I have a question. Ask me, sir. Uh, uh, I, I read uh, that uh, before uh, we use the adverb of frequency uh, before a principal verb, but after the verb to be. I don't know if it's correct. Mm, so, Tom is usually very friendly. Tom? Usually Something like Tommy is usually very friendly, but I don't know it's correct. You have two options. Sí, tiene dos opciones. Both are correct. Mm -hmm. Exactly, both. Es con lo mismo con sometimes. Eh, bueno, no sé si usted estuvo en la clase ayer, Jaime, pero les expliqué que habían tres formas en las cuales podemos utilizar sometimes. No, de hecho no pude. Tenía que trabajar noche. Okay, don't worry, no se preocupe. Pero sí, les expliqué eh, three forms that we have with sometimes. Tres formas en las que podemos utilizar sometimes. Después del subject o utilizar el subject, el verb to be y luego el complement y agregar coma y luego el sometimes. Y la otra que sería tener el sometimes at the beginning, right? Tenerlo okay. como principal. Así que sí, con lo mismo sucede con algunos adverbs of frequency. Los podemos tener tanto al principio del verb to be como después del verb to be. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Excellent. Good question. Now let's go with number five, Lourdes. What do you have for number five? Number five is I sometimes take sugar in my coffee. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, Lourdes. Mm, let me see, Manuel, what do you have in number six? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Number six. Ramon and Frank often are hungry. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Very good. Let's go with Fabiola. Fabiola, what do you have in number seven? Eh, no sé si se la habré hecho bien, pero yo creo que sería my grandmother always goes for a walk in the evening. That's correct. Yes, Fabiola. Ah, okay. Es que tenía mi dudita, no sé. <laughs> No, but don't worry, it's okay. Creo que quizás le entró duda por el ghost, right? Que no va, no suena muy bien con el always. Pero si va después o antes, pero como que hallándole la lógica. Exactly. No, y también la structure, Fabiola, right? Ah, no, sí, eso sí. There you go. Thank you, Fabi. Let's go with number eight. Eh, Azucena. Walter usually helps his father in the kitchen. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. And let's go with number nine, Orlando Echeverria. Hi, everyone. Hi. Good night, miss. Good evening. Uh, number nine, they, ever, they never watch TV in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. 
And the last one, let me see, Miguel Morales. What do you have for the last one? Number 10, I think. Christine, Christine, never mm -hmm. smoke. Exactly, Christine, <coughs> never smokes, right? There you go, thank you, Miguel. All right, everybody, that was just like a short practice for you to remember adverbs of frequency. Now let's move on to the real content, all right? So let's see, we have a sports season in the US and Canada, all right? Now, of course, as per usual, in our country, it's different, right? It's not the same thing, but we're going to work with this. Let's see, listen to my pronunciation with the vocabulary and then you will practice. In the spring, people play golf or play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis or play volleyball or go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, or go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go or people go ice skating, or go skiing, right? And let me check. Uh -huh. There you go. Now, let's see, let's practice with this vocabulary, everybody, okay? Let's see, I'm going to have Esmeralda del Rosario, please, tell me the vocabulary. Todo, eh, Miss? Yes, please. Okay. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play Baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. Yes, hiking. Okay. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating go asking mm -hmm. exactly there you go thank you esmeralda now let's go with estreberto reyes please tell me the vocabulary good evening good evening welcome in the spring people play golf play soccer in fall people play football goodbye reading good ¿Cómo era esta? Hiking. Hiking. Mm -hmm. Okay. The summer people play basketball, play, play tennis. Tennis, ¿es verdad? ¿O no? Sí. Yes, tennis. Tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In your, in your other people play hockey, play basketball, go ahí, go ahí. Uh, esta era ice skating good, good ice skating good skin exactly there you go thank you sir let's go with Francisco your turn Francisco tell me the vocabulary in the spring people play golf play soccer in the summer people play baseball play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play baseball, go ice skating, go skiing. Yes, that's correct, skiing. Uh -huh, exactly. Thank you, Francisco. Very good. Let's go with, let me see, Regina, please. Okay. In the spring, P ah, hi, Miss. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike ride, riding, and go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, 
play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go, um, ¿cómo sería ahí? A skin. A skin. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you, Regina. Very good. Let's go with Adriana. Let's see Adriana. Todas, teacher. Yes, please. In the spring, popular. Play golf. Play soccer. 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 Come? Soccer. Play soccer. In mm -hmm. the in the summer popular. Play basketball. Play tennis. Play volleyball. Um, go go swim. Swimming. 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 Uh, in the five popular. Play football, mm -hmm. go bike, ride down, go hiking, hiking mm -hmm. in the winter pole play, play, play hockey, play, play basketball, going shopping, ice skating, ice skating. Skating, skating, mm -hmm. skating. good skin. There you go, excellent. Joanna, repeat after me, people. People, come. People, people. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you, Adriana. Let's go with Manuel, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Okay, teacher. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, hockey, play basketball, and go I go ice skating and go skiing. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with lower this, please. Okay. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Lourdes. Let's go with Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie, tell me the vocabulary. In the spring people play golf, play soccer. In the fall people play football, go by right feeling, go hiking, hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Okay, yeah. I think you finished. Pero se le cortó el audio al último momento. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. How do you say go? And the four people go ice skating. I keep go ahead. Hiking. Football go by reading and go uh, hiking. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Hike. There you go. Thank you, Excellent, sir. Very good. Now let me check one last person and then I will move on. Let's go with. Mm, let me check. I need somebody to practice with. Azucena, please. Todo, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, honey, please. Okay. Sports season in the U.S. 
in Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play be baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, Azucena. All right, everybody, let's check. What are we going to do with this vocabulary? It's important for you to enhance or to improve a lot of your pronunciation, right? So let's check some guiding examples of how can we use this vocabulary. So we have number one, let's see. Eh, perdón, que le interrumpa, mis, pero temo ¿Qué? que se me olvide. Así eh, what is the meaning? Eh, hiking, hiking. Hiking, yes, es senderismo. Ah, ¿Perdón? Senderismo. Cuando senderismo. usted, vaya la redundancia, va a una excursión y andan como por bosques o cosas así. That's ah, como hiking. Okay, 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 miss, thank you. You're welcome, honey. All right, now, alguien más, otra question? No? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Very good. Let's see, we have four sentences, right? Four guiding examples for you. So let's check these guiding examples. Orlando Echeverria, please tell me example number one and two. Uh, okay, miss. Number one, in the spring, Mary plays soccer. Number two, in summer, my parents go swimming. Excellent, thank you. Sandrita, number three and four, please. In the fall, Matias goes by riding. In the winter, I play basketball. That's correct, excellent. There you go. All right, everybody, those are the examples, right? What are we going to do next, miss? Practice time. Let me check uh, Fabiola, please. Tell me the instructions. Uh, <clears throat> work individually, create a list for season with uh, Ah, sí, es cierto. Sentences with the vocabulary learning. No, learned. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Learned. Learned. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> con, compare. Compare, compare your sentences with the class. That's correct. Thank you, Fabiola. All right, everybody. You're only going to create four sentences, all right? Van a crear cuatro oraciones utilizando este vocabulary que tienen por aquí, all right? Me dicen si quieren que los deje aquí en este vocabulary o si me voy a los guiding examples, all right? Para que puedan trabajar en sus cuatro oraciones. Examples. Okay, here we go. Okay.
teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo, Ronnie? Eh, en el fall es cuando caen las hojas. Uh -huh. Exacto. Sí, lo que nosotros... sí, justamente. ¿Cómo le decimos nosotros aquí? No es verano. No. Sí, es verano. Verano. Otoño. Es... Nosotros otoño, no tenemos no. otoño. No, no, no. Right? Sí, pero okay, eso es you. otoño. Muy okay. bien. Miss, eh, play soccer es jugar fútbol, pero play fútbol es fútbol americano. Yes, that's what it is for them. Eso es lo que es para ellos. Ah, ok. Right. Okay, so as some of you already finished, so let's check some of them. Let's see, Orlando, tell me your sentences. Okay, Miss. Uh, number one, in the, in the winter, my brother and I play hockey. Mm -hmm. In the fall, my friends go hiking. Mm -hmm. In the summer, Sofia goes swimming. Goes swimming. Excellent. That's correct. Very good. In, in the spring, my uncle play golf. Play or plays? Play, golf. My uncle, are you sure? Yes. My In uncle your... is third person singular. Uh, plays, mm -hmm. golf. Exactly, that's correct. Amen. Gracias. You're welcome. I finish, Miss. Excellent. Okay, let me check your sentences, Esmeralda. Okay. In the summer, Anastasia plays tennis. In the spring, I play soccer. In the winter, my cousin plays basketball. Mm -hmm. In the fall, I go by. Writing. 
There you go. Excellent. Very really good, Esmeralda. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else who has finished? Aha, Regina. I finished, teacher. Okay. Me or him? Ah, you may start, Regina. And let me see. ¿Quién fue el que dijo finished? <laughs> let me see. No sé. Este, yo, pero, ¿qué pasa ella primero? Ok, excellent. Let's go, okay. Regina. In the spring, Jose plays soccer in his university. Mm -hmm. In the summer, I go swimming very close to my house. In the winter, they play hockey in the U.S. In the fall, Jack plays football in his country. That's correct. Excellent. Very really good. Check. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Regina. Let's go, Francisco. Tell me your sentences. In the summer, I play baseball. In the fall, Andrea does hiking in Crystal House. In the winter, Frank plays baseball. And in the spring, Carlos plays soccer. Carlos play or plays? Play. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent, Francisco. That's correct. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? When you escoger. <laughs> Let's see, Lourdes. Okay. Okay, Lourdes. Number one. In the summer, she plays volleyball. Mm -hmm. Two. In the winter, George plays hockey. Three. In the fall, my brother goes hiking. Mm -hmm. And four. In the spring, I play golf. There you go. Excellent. This is easy, right, Lourdes? Very good. Thank you. Somebody else? Any other volunteer? Hey, miss. Yes. Um, yo hice unas con una mezcla de, de lo de ayer y lo de hoy, pero no sé si estará correcto, se lo voy a decir. Okay. Um, they usually play basketball in the evening. Mm -hmm. No. Right. Sí, está bien, solo que aquí estamos okay. utilizando... Eh, Seasons, las temporadas. Ah, Solo, así bueno. Así no cambie el es, evening, póngale esta, spring. <risas> esta sí dice una temporada. Uh, oh. She never goes swimming in the winter. Mm, excellent. Uh, I play tennis in the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother goes bike riding in the park this summer. In the summer. In the right. summer? Or in summer. Huh? In summer, okay. Excellent, very good, Susana. Excellent. You took some uh, knowledge from one class and you added to another one. Excellent. Somebody else? I don't have any other volunteers. I'm finished, teacher. Excellent, Aurita, tell me. Uh, in the winter, Moises goes skiing. In the fall, she plays basketball. In the summer, they play swimming. She plays soccer in the spring. Okay, la adelante penúltima, please. Ah, última penúltima. La antepenúltima. La número tres, vaya. Ah, <laughs> in the summer, they play swimming. They play Laurita or they go swimming? Mm. Aquí? Um, in the go swim. Exactly. I'm sorry, teacher. Don't worry, no se preocupe, right? Mi deber es que si se fije que tiene que ir con cada cosa, right? Excellent, Laurita, very good. Now, let's see. Do you have a chance more? Do you have a chance más? Alguien? ¿Quieres ser voluntario? O ya, digo nombres. Ok, excelente. Like hardcore. Let's see. Um, what about Fabiola? Mm, bueno, yo lo intenté. De que lo intentara que me salga bien. 
Eh, es que tenía una dudita con la primerita. Eh, yo quería poner mm, en otoño juego al fútbol, pero no sé si estaría bien si digo In the fall I play soccer. ¿Qué es Fabiola? Es, es que, no, es que mi duda no es tanto en eso. Es que, por ejemplo, vaya, cuando yo voy a ocupar al, en sí para hacer una oración refiriéndome a mí, casi siempre las hago mal. Porque el ay, no sé, como que mi mente se traba y, y la llevo a poner en donde no va siempre. Entonces, por eso le digo, no sé si la habré hecho bien. De ahí, pues, en in the winter, Gustavo plays basketball. In the spring, Karen and Osvaldo plays golf. Y la primerita que sí la puse aquí en el chat. In the spring, my daddy plays basketball with me. Baseball. Ah, sí, baseball. Okay. Exactly. Very good, Fabiola. Si están bien, Fabiola, right? Quizás donde usted siente que se puede equivocar es como en el simple present, los verbos cambian en tercera persona, right? Pero usted no es tercera persona. <laughs> no, sí, pero sí. Al, al momento de estructurarla, casi siempre el hay, es, es rara vez la que sí lo pongo bien, o sea, es mínimo. Don't worry, Fabiola, entre más practique, se le va a ir haciendo más fácil, right? Esto así es, especially with simple present, y esto es para todos, especialmente con el presente simple, right? Eh, cuesta un poquito porque tenemos que variar mucho cuando estamos en third person o cuando estamos en first person, pero ya van a ver cuando vayan al otro level, level three, va a ser un poco... Más fácil, quizás, right? Por el uso del past, simple past, porque ya no van a cambiar sus verbs, right? Ya va a estar. Bueno, para tercera persona ya no lo van a cambiar, pero sí lo van a cambiar completamente. Ok, let's go. What about Manuel? Let's see. Uh, number one. In the summer, I play basketball. And in the fall, They go bike riding. Mm -hmm. In the winter, I go swimming. In, in the spring, I go to camping. You go swimming on winter. Yeah, I love swimming in the rain. <laughs> okay, there you go. Excellent. Really good. That's hard. Imagínese. No. That's hard. Sí, se, se, escucha, se escucha bien bonito el sonido del agua cuando uno está nadando y, y el agua está cayendo de la tormenta. Well, that's cool. Something new. All right, there you go, Manuel. Thank you. Very good examples. What about Sandrita? Let's see, Sandrita. Okay. Uh, number one, in the fall, my sister goes hiking. Mm -hmm. Number two, In the winter, my nephew, my nephew plays basketball. In the spring, my brother plays golf. In the summer, Nicole plays tennis. Excellent, very good, check. Excellent. What about you, Estreberto? Aún no las tengo. All right. What about you, Jaime? In the spring, I play soccer. Uh, in the fall, <clears throat> my sister goes by reading. In the summer, mm, in, in, pardon, excuse me. In the summer, my father goes swimming. Go in the winter, goes swimming. And in the winter, American people go ice skating. That's correct, excellent, very good, Jaime. Now, let's check, what about Ronnie? Ronnie, no recuerdo si ya pasó. Yo creo que sí. I believe. It. Okay, there you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, okay. uh, number no, one. I can the participation. <laughs> number okay. one, in the fall, I clean my garden. In the winter, my family and I play basketball. In the summer, my brother plays baseball. In the spring, Jose plays golf. All right, there you go. Excellent, Ronnie. Those sentences are correct. All right, everybody. If some of you didn't pass, uh, let me know, all right? So I can check you uh, tomorrow the sentences if you want. But right now I need to move on. Let's check what else do we have for today's class, all right? 
We already practiced with this content. Now let's go to simple present double H questions and conversation. I love sports. So let me start. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're a really good athlete. Athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television, right? <laughs> that was funny. Now let me have, let's see. Regina, you are Lauren in Orlando Echeverria. You are Justin, action. Okay. Miss, I uh, have a question. Uh -huh. have a uh, how do you say atleta? Athlete. Athlete. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Okay. okay. So, so you think, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love a sport. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just, I just watch them on television. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Miguel Morales. Miguel, you are Justin, Azucena, you are Lauren. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, in soccer are my favorite. Whoa, you are really good athlete. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra, teacher? Athlete. Perdón, no le escuché. Athlete. Athlete. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play in this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on the television. There you go. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Let's see, Ronnie, you are Justin and Laura, you are Laura. <laughs> All right, action. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in the in your free time? Well, I love it. Really? What sport do you like? Termino. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Were you a really good adult? When do you play all this, this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Okay. Es que tiene interferencia, right? Sí. Ok, solo la última sentence, no se la escuchamos. Uh, este... Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch it then on television. There you go, excellent. Thank you, okay. guys. Now let's go with the next pair. Manuel, you are Justin. And Fabiola, you are Lauren. Action. Okay, so what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, basketball, and soccer are my favorites. Well, you, no, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? So, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on the television. All right, there you go, excellent guys. Now I do believe that you practice these sports. Now, let me go with Sandeta. You are Lauren and Francisco, you are Justin, action.
So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love the sports. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. That's correct. Thank you, guys. Good pronunciation and fluency. Let's go with Esmeralda del Rosario. You are Lauren and Lourdes. You are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my, are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. There you go, excellent guys. All right, everybody. Um, that was a pretty good conversation, right? I was feeling that you are doing so much better now that you are practicing a lot. So that's correct, that's great. Let's move on to the next one. Grammar focus, simple present WH questions. Now, by now you already know how to form WH questions, right? You already know how to form them, but what's going on when it's related to sports, right? So listen to my pronunciation and then you will practice. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. What do you do? No. What do you play? Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at, Hunt, at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning, all right? Now, before leaving the classroom, I want some of you to practice with me. So let's see, I'm going to have Miguel Morales. Miguel, I'm going to ask you, all right? And you will answer. Yo le pregunto, usted contesta. What Thank sports you. do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Right, we have yeah. a thing. All right, excellent, Miguel. Now let me choose somebody else. Ahora le voy a pedir a alguien más que continúe. Let's see, Sandra. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice on or three times a week. Thank you. Manuel, when do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go, excellent. Now, Fabiola, what sports do you play? Es la primera, verdad? Yes. I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Azucena, where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Ronnie, when do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go, excellent, thank you. Now, everybody, for tomorrow's class, we're going to see the guiding structures. We have pretty much a lot of content for tomorrow, right? And basically, that's it for today's class. It was a pleasure okay. to be with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank, bye. You, Thank you, Miss. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Miss. Bye. 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 <laughs> have a great night. Bye, compañeros. 
Bye.